Hello viewers, uh, this is Mr. Banda, Mathematics Made Easy. So in this lesson we have a topic coming from this is it all level mathematics or ordinary level mathematics and the topic is probability. I have deliberately brought uh, this uh, subtopic here saying common paper one question. This particular question, uh, brethren, you understand that this is a very common question in paper one check all the paper one uh, questions, pep, uh, question papers, you find such type of a question where you have to get the probability of uh, an event to occur provided that another event, uh, the probability of another event happening is given. Now, the question is saying the probability of Kaskuru waking up late is 0 0.3. What is the probability that she will wake up early? So these are questions that I see or I have witnessed a number of my students are getting them wrong for a reason being not understanding exactly what the question is asking us to do and on what concept is this particular question derived from. So now, just to explain a bit of what this concept is all about, we understand the definition of probability to be the likelihood or the likelihood or chance of an event to occur, and that's what probability is. And we also understand that a set of all the possibilities of an event to happen is called a support space. That's in probability language of mathematics. We also understand that if you have all the probabilities of an event happening or a set of sample space, when you add up all the values of the probabilities of that particular set, you are supposed to get one. Because the maximum chance of an event to occur is one. And when we are so sure that this event is going to occur, that's when we say that this probability is equal to one. Now, what am I talking about here? Okay, with regards to this question. All right, when you know the probability of an event happening, okay, and if you know the probability of it happening and there are only two possibilities of either happening or not, then you definitely get the probability of the other, of that particular event not happening. That is, if you are aware of the probability of that event to occur. So, what am I talking about here? Let's say if the probability of waking up in this case is given, you know that uh, uh, there are two possibilities. The possibilities are either the school is going to wake up early or late. Anyway, uh, here we are avoiding a probability of this Kaskuru not waking up in case where maybe Kaskuru is dead. So we are avoiding that probability, we ignore uh, that particular possibility. We know that in life, you may maybe not even wake up at all. So, but in this case, we assume that, okay, where this, is, this particular person is not dead, but he is or she is either late, waking up late, or waking up early. We, we are ignoring the reality of life where she may not wake up at all, okay? Now, having said so, we know that the chances, as long as she is alive, the chances are that she is going to wake up late or early. Meaning the probability of waking up here contains the sample space for the probability of Kasu waking up contains two possibilities. Okay, it contains two uh, probabilities. The probability of waking up early or late. Meaning the sum of the probability of waking up early plus, and I mean waking up late, should give you one because the sum of the all the probabilities of a sample space of a particular event is one. All right, so that's where this concept comes from. In other words, if you know that the probability of an event happening is equal to x, then the probability of that event not happening, that is if you only have two possibilities, it happening or not happening, the probability of it not happening will be one minus x, because the sum must give you one. That's what we are saying here. Therefore, if you have already answered the question, so let our let P of L be equal to the probability, probability of Kaskuru 
Das Foto waking up lit. Uh, waking up lit. And a red P of L and a bar on top to be equal to the probability. Probability that Kaskuru will wake up, wake up early. So this is what I'm going to have. Now we know that in this sample space, a sample space for a set containing all the probabilities, as long as Kaskuru is alive, she will either wake up early or late. So we are saying P of late plus the probability of Kaskuru waking up early, you must get 1. That is the total probabilities. You sum up up to 1. Probability of waking up late, we are given 0 0.3. So here I put 0 0.3 plus the probability of waking up early, you must get 1. So meaning the probability of cash flow waking up A will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.3, implying that the probability of cash flow waking up A is going to be 0 0.7. So you are done. Therefore, the probability, the probability that she will That she will, she will wake up early is 0 0.7. It is as simple as, as sipping a glass of water. I hope and believe that you enjoyed. God bless you all. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lessons of such nature. God bless you.